So we are here today with Nitimo Montecuco, and we're actually being hosted in your in your home, so to speak. Yes. So can you tell us a bit about the the facility that we're in right now? Yes, uh, this is uh, uh, Villa Demidov, is an ancient uh, structure, and uh, this is the place uh, where we grow as a, a, an NGOs, uh, like we, we call it Global Village. Uh, the global village is the idea that uh, the planet can be and become uh, a, a, a global uh, village so all the people know each other, all the people are friendly, all the people uh, take care of themselves and of uh, the environment. So it's like a, an idea of uh, a positive uh, level of globalization. We know that uh, globalization is not uh, completely positive, there is a lot of negative stuff. And uh, here in the Village of Global, we promote uh, all kinds of study, research and uh, educational training in order to uh, promote a, a better future, a more uh, understanding uh, the, the systemic level of our planet and uh, of ourselves. What's interesting for me, though, is this is not just an ideology, but you actually are taking concrete steps toward this vision. Yes. Can you speak a bit about that, also in terms of your collaboration with schools and children? Uh, first of all, we are uh, doing research. We do research since uh, uh, 35 years. Uh, we do research on brain, uh, brain uh, coherence. Uh, we do research on uh, neurotransmitter hormones. Uh, we have published uh, many studies uh, about the, 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 let's say, the effect uh, of um, consciousness, self-consciousness, uh, on uh, different kinds of diseases like uh, depression, anxiety, stress, uh, and many others. Um, and uh, we have developed uh, this. Uh, uh, electroencephalographer that is able to um, uh, quantify the coherence between the different area of the brain. Can you tell me how that actually works? So no, uh, very I mean, easy. It's like a normal. Uh, uh, you just a single uh, EEG is just uh, taking uh, the single electromagnetic wave from different point in the brain and studying each point on itself. We are studying all the points together. It's like, what is the relation between here and here, or from here and there, or from here and... So we, this means coherence, means uh, the pattern that uh, get together different kind of electromagnetic wave. And we discover, we and other uh, research group in the world, that when you are healthy, when you are in meditation, when you are happy, your brain uh, coherence is higher, when you are depressed is lower, when you are really, let's say, in a conflict, inner conflict, the brain works really in a conflict. So the brain waves uh, not just have a lower uh, uh, coherence, but they do phase opposition. It's like one part say yes and the other part say no. I want something but I don't want and uh, no, there is conflict. And uh, we are develop um, a, a, a system, a psychosomatic system, uh, that is using basic body technique, uh, like energetic technique, uh, emotional technique, breathing technique, uh, emotional releases uh, uh, technique, uh, uh, many different uh, approaches, uh, and psychological uh, uh, approach, uh, like a gestalt, a bioenergetic, and so. Uh, and in, uh, behind all that, meditation. We use many different kinds of meditation of different school, uh, of different tradition, uh, because we believe that uh, um, it's possible to use uh, a self-awareness practice with no ideology. We don't like ideology. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we were able to cure 100,000 uh, people uh, to do a lot of experiments that have proved that, uh, the validity, the efficacy of our um, psychosomatic mindfulness protocol. 
And then, uh, since uh, four years, uh, we ask uh, uh, the commission of the Minister uh, of uh, of um, um, uh, Welfare, probably can be translated better in social uh, uh, health, mm -hmm. um, social politics, uh, that our system is uh, very good to provide a kind of uh, uh, precondition in order to make the children or the person not to get sick. Mm. No, is a prevention a of, uh, of the disease. Right. So it's very interesting and very important. And uh, since there, there have been uh, 5,000, uh, 5, 200, 5,000 uh, research, scientific research on meditation, on mindfulness that are proving that uh, our research were good and still are even more sustained by, by the scientific uh, uh, community. So we went in school in uh, all the 20 Italian regions, um, providing, we just did here um, a training, a training course. Uh, up to now, 750 people have been trained here that have been going to their own uh, uh, city and school and uh, providing every person uh, more or less uh, 20, 25 uh, children or adult uh, as a classroom, uh, teaching all this information. So and I'm, the I'm results are about, incredible. I'm, I'm curious about the, so, so you've shown us some of the diagrams of, yes. of measuring the yes. coherence yes. between yes. someone who's been meditating their brain. Yes. Function. Yes. And then you've also shown us two individuals yes. who are in resonance then when they're yes. actually in a meditative state. And many state. group of people in the classroom uh, with children of five, six years old, so very little children, we just uh, teach them how to feel yourself and once you feel the wholeness of yourself, then to feel that your energy field is going around and is matching and is uh, entangled with other fields. And have you so visualized you that? Have you data visualized that? I, when you I, have we asked the children. children or the adult to draw this, uh, and they draw a, a, a big ball of energy, of course. It's something that people feel. And what kind of feedback are you getting from the teachers in those classrooms they after the They are very happy because uh, before our training, uh, they were like teacher and student, no? Uh, so there was a kind of a wall, no? Uh, uh, teacher, leave the kids alone, no? Uh, it's like... Uh, um, a distance. I'm right, uh, you have to do what I tell you mm. to do. And there was a difference, a distance. Uh, after the Gaia project, uh, they get much more in touch and they don't use this kind of strong approach, but a very much uh, sensitive and uh, feminine and uh, loving approach, understanding the children, uh, and this is uh, working much better. So and the children learn and have better school uh, uh, quotation. So you're, you're creating systemic change in the Absolutely. school. Absolutely, the system change, of course. And that this presumably is our will have a, a yes. resonant effect. Absolutely, yes. Uh, this is not just our system. Uh, they try something like that, even with, uh, let's say, mindfulness, uh, mm -hmm. um, like uh, MBSR, uh, kabat uh, protocol of mindfulness. But we believe that our protocol is a more psychosomatic mm -hmm. and even more. In our protocol, the beginning is the new paradigm. So all this work with Erwin Laszlo, with many scientists in Italy, uh, all over the world, uh, we just get the best in information and we uh, give to the children or to the people uh, very, in a very simple way. Just even to say, we have a reptilian brain that is a body uh, information uh, structure, an emotional brain and a, a cognitive brain. But all three brains have to be together in order to, mm. to feel yourself. So we develop uh, training, so we teach the children or the adult how to feel strong or how to feel relaxed. 
how to manage with their own uh, strength or their own uh, level of uh, relaxation and peace. We teach the children and the adults how to feel not just beautiful emotion, let's be a friend and uh, loving each other, but even let's share uh, sadness, let's uh, share um, fear. So let's so, uh, share even anger. So this is teaching empathy. Empathy, emotional intelligence. And the children, when they share the negative emotion in a proper environment. So I say, well, I felt uh, sorry because uh, maybe yesterday or a month before you say something to me. And the other person, wow, I didn't know that. And they create the wow. field. So this is the so emotional you're intelligence. Level, you're creating a level of communication. Absolutely, that's been a missing. higher level of communication. And this level of communication is increasing the brain waves. And do the, the, do the teachers also see a result academically for the children? Yes, uh, uh, this has been already published, this result. Children uh, uh, get better at school, hmm. get better uh, hmm. uh, performance at school. And this is very important because, uh, you know, in an easier way. So, Nitimo, your, your background is yes. not just as a yoga or meditation no, teacher. No, I'm a doctor, normal doctor, so you're, yes. So, in your, your area of specialty is, is cognitive neuroscience. You see, in neuroscience, I'm teaching neuroscience at the University in Milano. I have been teaching in, at the University of Medicine in Pisa at the University of uh, Sociology in uh, Siena. So do you, do you think Rome. that, the, the, in fact, that gives the credibility that was necessary to Absolutely. get this kind of practice into the yes. school? We suggest many groups uh, all over the world not to use a specific school approach. Mm -hmm. It's like my yoga master, my uh, spiritual teacher, my believing system. Mm -hmm. For example, we don't talk about chakra. If people sometimes feel, I felt something really um, color here, ah, okay, just draw it. Mm. But we don't say anything, mm. you just feel it, mm. you can just make a, a, a draw, a design of it. But we never suggest anything that they cannot experience directly. Interesting. And so we can go to communist country, to communist people, or to uh, Catholic, uh, Buddhist, uh, Muslim, or atheist, uh, exactly at the same space, because we don't use any believing system. So there's no dogma involved No dogma. In it's all supported Just by practice. science? Just practice. Just practice and you feel it. <laughs> And then when you feel it, you can uh, discuss it, you can Express share it, it uh, mm. you can understand it. So, Nitimo, I want to go back to your, yes. to your childhood. Did you have a sense of... <laughs> what, what, was, what was the seed of, that led you into the kind of work that you're doing? I was a normal, wild child. <laughs> <laughs> wild child? Wild. <laughs> I've been always a little wild. <laughs> I mean, I, my, my father was very, you know, square. <laughs> Strict? Or? See, yes, and very uh -huh. together, you know, just behave. You know? <laughs> so I, have, I know how to behave and I know how to be wild. <laughs> but just to be wild is really a pleasure. <laughs> you, know, you feel like uh, alive, you know, everything is really alive, my body, you know, everything. And you, I never lost the sense of uh, um, wonder. Mm -hmm. of uh, exploring. I'm 64 and I'm still exploring everything I can. I can experience every experience possible. So that sense of wonder yes. that... Beautiful. So many people have that as children and they lose that as they get older, yes. enter an academic environment. What, yes, what yes. allowed you to maintain that? Uh, you, you know, in, basically all the uh, classical uh, school or uh, let's say university, official university, the people have lost uh, this uh, spirit of knowing and they got some kind of believing system, can be a religious believing system, political believing system or scientific believing system because uh, science is like this. 
And this is uh, not true. In the last uh, 20, 30 years, most of the scientific uh, um, academic uh, research have discovered completely different ways uh, to see the world and the human being. So we need really to change. We are in a paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. And uh, still, uh, people don't want to learn more, so they are closing their own old paradigm structure. And slowly, we provide uh, new scientific uh, uh, data to change their own uh, rigid structure. So, there is a shift going on. Absolutely. And are, are you seeing a difference in how people are receiving this information? Absolutely. The scientific data, the survey, sociological survey that have been done by uh, Paul uh, Ray in the uh, United States, uh, by us with uh, Enrico Kelly, the professor of the University of Sociology in Arezzo, mm -hmm. and many other research in French, in, uh, in uh, Japan and other countries, show that the people that want to change their life and open their mind and heart are still continuously increasing. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a hope to get uh, to the critical mass around, let's say, we hope around uh, 2020. Uh -huh. Maybe we are wrong 2024, mm. 2030. But uh, people are getting uh, open and they see that the old paradigm is getting a kind of uh, uh, depression state, uh, suffering state. And um, we are uh, pro providing a new paradigm you can work on a better way, on a more uh, joyful and uh, playfulness uh, state. Uh, and uh, you need less money uh, because you enjoy even uh, being without money. <laughs> it's just, I'm alive, uh, that's great. <laughs> I enjoy so much to be alive. And then if I am poor, that's okay. I mean, if I'm rich, I, I, I can manage. <laughs> but, uh, no, so people... Uh, uh, slowing down, opening uh, the heart, opening consciousness. Consciousness is the big uh, stuff, is the big uh, uh, instrument to change our uh, vision and our life. Is a tool, an evolutionary tool. If I were to say to you, is, 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 this, is this a mission for you? Do you have a sense of mission around this? Uh, no, it's more a play. Let's play. It's, like, it's my let's play. play. Let's, uh, let's play. That's beautiful. <laughs> I enjoy so much. I'm just doing something that is good for you and for other people. Uh, discovering, studying, researching. It's just a beautiful game. And uh, by engaging other people in this game, uh, uh, people start to get happier, uh, to change their own life, their own stuff, uh, to change ideas. And uh, this is a, a viral uh, uh, movement that is growing. So, so Nutimo, with this worldview, how, how, how do you move through life? How do you, how do you um, you're at the grocery store. I, I mean, how does this inform the way you live your life every day? I just live, uh, I just wash dishes and, uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and screw my kitchen floor and just growing up my three children two are big now one is nine years old and uh, just having normal relation some fight some time some diseases <laughs> getting old <laughs> it's like, okay enjoy every every moment i can enjoy i'm enjoying and that's normal life excellent <clears throat> Well, I appreciate you taking the time sure. to speak with us. Sure, and thank you. Appreciate thank you your for work. You. <laughs>